Good morning, cherubs. Welcome to a new video. If I look really puffy, don't mind that. My hay fever is wilding right now. So you know me, I love to review things. I do, I can't help it. I just wanna know if things are worth it or not. And I keep seeing different products on TikTok and I did this video last year with TikTok bakeries. So I thought I would do it again with some TikTok food. So that's what this video is gonna be. I bought a bunch of different TikTok food that I've seen online and we're gonna give it a go and see if it's worth it or not. another order this order i'm so excited about and i've seen this for probably years to be honest with you this this will die this is viral this is probably the most um viral product that i've seen i am really intrigued to try it because it includes pressed flowers and i actually don't like the taste of pressed flowers i don't actually like the taste of pressed flowers i am so bad at getting into parcels how the heck i want to get in here and i can't hi yeah, there we go. Gosh, this is hard. This is what it looks like. This is the Blushing Cook Brownie, which is like the most beautiful brownie that you will ever see. It's really nicely packaged, got the ingredients on the back for any allergy sufferers. So intrigued to see what this looks like, man. That is literally beautiful. Look at these brownies. Oh my word. Look how beautiful they are and they smell incredible have you ever seen a more gorgeous brownie but the question is does it actually taste nice let's see it let's see what it tastes like is it going to taste like flowers no it literally just tastes like a brownie it's quite a um dense fudgy brownie i feel like brownies are so personal aren't they they are really really good but maybe a bit too fudgy for me if you like like a fudgy rich brownie that's this is for you i'm more of a chewy brownie but it is really good genuinely i thought it just tastes like flowers but mm, it is weird because it feels wrong to be eating all these flowers this is really good i thought this wouldn't live up to the hype if i'm honest but mm. i ordered this yesterday from a place called george's bakery um george's bakery do bakery drops on Sundays and Wednesdays and everything is normally sold out and I always miss it but somehow there was just one random product that was left so I bought it as quick as I could I ordered it yesterday and it's come today so really impressive let's see what this is I think I got it's called like a Biscoff I can't remember but it's very weighty it is a weighty weighty boy interesting it doesn't come with like a note or anything I thought it would come with a note this is massive and um, this is what they look like come on over, come a bit closer come on and it, it looks like it has a like a spongy base and then a biscoff cream and then a biscoff topping on top i am gonna try one of these for my little mid-morning snack it's so big this is what it looks like oh my gosh it smells amazing that's really flipping good. It is so sweet and sickly and I can't hack this all in one go. But it is quite delicious. Oh my word. If you don't have a sweet tooth, you're going to hate this. But if you have a sweet tooth, you're going to love this. And you like Biscoff. Oh my gosh, it's really good. Mmm. I was dubious about it, but it's really good. I want to try the other stuff they have now as well. I think they have these like wagon wheels. They look pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. The next parcel I got is actually something that I have ordered before, um, but it was about three or four years ago. Um, and apparently, I think they've changed their recipe since then. Because when I ordered it last time, it was good, but it didn't like blow me over. But I keep, again, seeing it on TikTok. So I thought we would give it a go and see um, if it's worth the hype or not. So this is cookie dough that you keep in the fridge in like little pots. And cookie dough isn't a massive thing in England. I feel like cookie dough is quite big in America. And I always see people nomming on cookie dough. But for some reason, it hasn't quite hit the British market, if you will. So, this company does edible cookie dough. And we're going to try it. So I bought, I think it was like the mixed assortment. And then with it, I got a little free one. Here you go. Snack 10, if you want a discount code. 
So these are the ones that I ordered. Indulgent vanilla, triple chocolate fudge, gooey choc chip, red velvet, confetti batter. This was the extra one that I got sent, which is the vegan um, mini egg one, which I'm very intrigued to, to try. Um, so I feel like we need to do a little taste test. These look really flipping cute, like look at them. If these don't make you want to eat them, I don't know what will. But how cute, little cookie dough pots. They are completely different. Um, from the one that I tried ages ago. I think they've really like rebranded themselves. I am most excited for probably the like normal cookie dough, which I think is this one, the indulgent vanilla. Okay, the first one I'm gonna try is, I feel like you just gotta go for the classic one, indulgent vanilla, because that is the classic, isn't it? Okay, this is vanilla and it literally is just vanilla. I thought there would be a little bit of chocolate chip in there, but no, it's literally just vanilla. Mm -hmm. That is good, but I don't I don't know how people could eat like loads of spoonfuls of that because <laughs> it's really sickly. <laughs> um, it's good, but like I just couldn't hack more than a mouthful of that. Um, I'm gonna try them all because that's the whole point of this video, um, and it would be wrong not to. It'd be so wrong. Red velvet. I actually think I might prefer this one. Oh, you can bake it as well. Heat in the microwave for 20 seconds or bake at 170 for eight to 10 minutes. Triple choc fudge and it has white chocolate chips in it. Mmm, that one is a winner so far. I feel the most confident about this one. This is what I kind of thought that the vanilla one would be like. Mmm, really fantastic. No, this one's my new favorite because it actually tastes like cookie dough. This is the funfetti one. You've got little sprinkles and white choc chunks. That one's pretty good, but also tastes a little bit like a candle. I feel like, Birthday cake flavoured things can have the tendency to taste a little bit like a candle, like specifically a Yankee candle. And then the last one is this vegan mini egg one. I don't know why he's so special that he has a little paper case. This one is a chocolate one, and as you can see, there's like full on mini eggs in there. So I feel good. Mmm, pretty good. I don't know if I pay the amount of money that these cost, but if you know someone that loves cookie dough and they want a little gift, I think it's quite a sweet little idea. But like I said, I don't know if I would buy again. I didn't know. Basically, there's this granola butter that's only available in America, and I've wanted it for so long. I think they've been around for like three years now, um, but you just can't get it shipped to England, like no, one, no matter what you try. Um, but I think an English brand has come up with their own version, uh, or maybe this English brand's been around for a while, I don't fully know. Um, but this is granola butter, and they have different flavors. So they have like a normal granola butter, then they also have this one, which is the chocolate one. And I see this all over TikTok. Well, I see the American one, and then I found this one. So I don't actually know what this one's gonna be like. But it's made with oats, it's got sugar, cocoa powder and I'm just so intrigued um what it will be like so the next parcel I got is this which is the Dishoom bacon naan roll kit which I am so excited for and I've been trying wanting to try this for so so flipping long so you have the naan breads in here in little balls you have all the added extras and then the bacon so we're gonna make that for breakfast in the morning Another parcel has come. This one is from a company that is all over TikTok and it's called What The Fudge. So, as you can imagine, it is fudge. I actually couldn't pick what to get because their website had so many yummy looking things. So I actually went for an assorted 20 pound box. I think they have like a 15 pound one. Up first we have ice cream flavor fudge with white milk chocolate sauce, strawberry milk and white chocolate, 
crumbly chocolate candy cones and sprinkles. Wheel, a vanilla flavor fudge wheel dipped in Belgian milk chocolate with malt chocolate filling and malt chocolate buttons. A fudge donut, chocolate flavor fudge, cream egg fudge. Uh, there were so many things that I could have bought from this website, so many. The thing I'm least excited about is this puppy right here. I don't know about ice cream flavor fudge. Right, I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try the one that I have been most longing to try, which is this fudge wheel. I'm just so intrigued by it. It's, I feel like this is gonna be so rich. Mm. This is pretty good. It's um, got like crunchy bits in the middle, which is really nice. Quite like that. As I anticipated, very sickly and sweet. But it's fudge at the end of the day, and fudge is sickly and sweet. I just feel like it's gonna taste a bit candly, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I don't love strawberry flavored chocolate and things like that, and it really does smell like strawberry. It kind of looks like a soap or a candle or something. So weird. Say, so, okay, I think that the strawberry white chocolateness is only on top. Like I don't. Oh, there's something hidden in the middle. It's like white stuff in the middle of it. As I anticipated, a little bit strawberry. Um, and I don't love strawberry white chocolate. So it's not my favorite thing I've ever had, but this cream egg, all right, fine. Fine, I'll try the cream egg fudge. That is good. I feel like I don't even know what fudge tastes like at this point, because it's quite, um, obviously rich. It's good fudge. Not really bowled me over, but it's fun. It's all right. It's a good time, I suppose. This next company is a really cool company called A Pickled and they're this Scottish pickle company and they look so flipping cool um, and they do different, lots of different types of pickle. They do like um, kimchi, they do pickles, they do kimchi hot sauce, are you joking me? The bread and butter pickles and I just thought they sounded really good. Handmade in Scotland. These crunchy cucumbers are cured for 24 hours before being pickled in a complex spice blend that leaves them wonderfully sweet and salty. These are the ultimate slapping pickle and just amazing with a cold beer. So, should we try one? I personally like a pickle in a burger. I wouldn't normally just raw chomp on one, but we kind of have to. Like I, ooh, they're very thick cut. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, but here goes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, they are right. Oh, they're good. They are sweet, but salty. Oh my word. You can totally have these not in a burger. They actually taste nice on their own. Because they are sweet, they have a warmth to them. Almost like a little bit of a kick in a weird way. Like, I don't know what that is. That is gorgeous. Um, and then obviously we have the kimchi hot sauce. A little bit of toast here, so I'm just gonna Pop it on the bread to try and get the flavours of it. Do you know what I mean? That smells so good. Just a little bit. Oh my word. I love this company. The flavours. Mm, the flavours are sensational. Check this company out. A pickled. Please. Please, because they're delicious. Me again. I realise I need to try out my granola butter. So I'm gonna, I've got my piece of toast here. And I thought, literally, the most perfect time of all. Um, and I'm feeling confident after that I could literally nom those pickles. My gut health is gonna be off the charts because if I'm chomping on those pickles all day long, you best believe my gut biome, whatever it's called, is gonna be lapping it up. So it kind of just looks like a nut butter. Here goes. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I feel like I need to try it just off the knife. I don't love that, if I'm honest. Um, kind of tastes a bit like a little bit stale. I don't really get much flavour, like I would quite like to be more sweet or more salty or have like a salty edge. But that could be because I've just tried the most flavoursome, delectable pickles I've ever tried in my life. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't be rushing to get that again. 
Today was a really cozy rainy day so it was the perfect time to crack out my hot chocolate from Chamberlain Coffee. Now Chamberlain Coffee normally just do coffee so I was so excited when I saw that they finally bought out some hot chocolate so I wanted to give it a go and see how it compared to the trusted faithful Cadbury's hot chocolate powder. It was a lot more dark and quite a lot more rich. It wasn't as sweet but it was a lot more flavorful um, and it was still delicious so shout out Chamberlain Coffee.